right, what's going on, you guys? About 45 minutes ago, I put on Facebook, I need to relax, but I want to go hog hunting. And instantaneously, about 100 of you guys were like, go hunting. So I thought, why waste a perfectly good afternoon and sit at the house? I would just be ignorant. But anyway, I'm heading out here. Now, a lot of you guys come down to Florida and go hog hunting, and a lot of you guys live here in Florida, go hog hunting. And you know, some guys might be like, why are you shooting with a rifle? Go out there and catch them with a dog. Well, I, I'm, I've caught a gazillion of them with the dogs. I just, I'm not really into hog hunting with dogs anymore. My dogs are kind of like my kids and I spent too many days at the vet getting them sewed up. So, it just doesn't float my boat anymore. Some of you guys are like, why are you shooting with a rifle? You ought to shoot them with a bow and arrow. Well, I ain't out here in some kind of like proving contest. I'm out here, this is more like sitting in a tree stand grocery shopping. If a big old boar hog walks out, I'm probably not gonna shoot him. If a, you know, scrawny looking sow walks out, I'm probably not gonna shoot him. But if a nice, fat, healthy sow, or a bar, or even a young boar walks out, I'm gonna give him a how a handshake. Probably shoot him right behind the head, in the neck, kill him stone dead, no blood trail, bring him back to the house, smoke the hams, might slow cook the shoulders, cook some back straps, grind all the excess. Might, you know, if they're real healthy, I'd cook some ribs. But this is a way I like to get out and enjoy myself. Now, if any of y'all wonder, what do I take to my tree stand with me? That's very simple. As little as possible. So this is what I take to the tree. My binoculars. My Silver Stag pocket knife, wind detector, because I always use this to figure out which way I'm going to go in, thermocell. I need to put a couple hooks up in my I'm in a tree stand. Here's my gun. I don't bring a ton of bullets. I got three in here and two of my little god grip. GoPro. This is my uh, third arm tree arm. This is what I'll use to control the camera. And this is what it hooks into. Time to go hunting. hunted in here now several days and haven't haven't even seen a hog seen a lot of deer but more than anything it's just really nice to get out into the outdoors and enjoy yourself relax smell the clean air and just enjoy oh, oh, oh. Here comes a hog right here. Here comes a hog right here. Hold on. That one just got knocked down. That's exactly what I was talking about. I wanted to come in here, get set up, kill a big hog. Now let's go take care of him. I shot him right under the feeder. So, 
like I said before, I wasn't out here trying to, uh, you know, man, what a hog, dude, this is a stud. Holy Toledo. Man, what a hog. Now that right there, that's one bad dude. So I'm gonna go back to the house, clean him out, and uh, you're talking about some good eating right here. Good eating. Shot him with this uh, Howa 7mm 08, shooting the uh, 139 grain SST bullets. They're rippers. Well, you wanna talk about persistence? That's persistence. That's the fifth time I've come out to this property and seen a bunch of deer, had some great times. But uh, it's the first hog I've seen since I've been out here. I mean, what a, I mean, that's a beast. See, if I didn't have the feeder though, there's no way to really pattern these hogs. They'll just come out and root up the farmer's fields after dark. Well, that's not what you want. I'm out here specifically trying to kill some of these hogs so they don't root up the field. Well, without the feeder, they just stay in there till after dark, then go to the fields. So, I normally don't hunt over feeders like that, but with these hogs, kind of got to. But uh, everything worked perfect. On the way out, I said I was gonna shoot him right behind the head, knock him down. That's exactly what happened. Now I just gotta wait for the guys with the uh, mule, cause that joke's too big to be carrying anywhere. All right, you guys, you saw me shoot that hog yesterday. He's been in my cooler on ice overnight. Now I'm gonna show you how to clean a hog with just a simple pocket knife. I'm just gonna... Always cut from the inside out. Otherwise, you're gonna have hair and mud all over your animal. Try to never touch the meat with this hand. You're only touching the hide and meat with your, with your non-cutting hand. Follow the outside edge of this leg, just like this. Just like that. If you get hair or anything on your meat, just wipe it on your leg. You don't want any of this mud or hair on your meat. That's the key. When I'm holding my knife, I like to hold my knife in my hand with my fingers so then it's like you're touching where you want to cut. When cleaning a boar hog, this is your most critical area. If you see any hair, wipe it off with your knife blade and keep working. So a big hog like this, his hide is not wanting to split for me. So I'll just bring him right down like this. Cup him inside out, fall his backbone down. But I do not want to get the hair on the meat. So I'm just gonna <clears throat> just like that. Now get that off. See how I just peeled that right off there?
Now as you can see, normally the hide would hang straight down, but because that shield is so strong, it'll actually lay out. I mean, it just supports itself. See, now we're, we're getting past it. Okay, so now what I'll do, I'll go around and if I see a few hairs here or there, I'll wipe them off. But by and large, this big rascal's been skinned out near about perfect. Very simple, we're gonna quarter it out just like a deer. Grab this whole shoulder. Another big old nice back strap. Nice, beautiful back our tenderloin. All of that will be cleaned up and ground into sausage. So now what I'm doing, I'm just gonna cut the carcass in half by dejointing this backbone. Good. Good. Take this one. Them up there. There we go. Right through it. Take your bag of ice. I've already got a bag of ice in the bottom. Now I gotta. I'm gonna take a water hose, wash this all off, let it sit overnight. All right, everybody, I hope you've been enjoying the hog hunt. It is 11.08 p.m. I've been editing all afternoon into the night. Um, and then tomorrow, I've gotta to get ready on the big boat. We're gonna be running to Chub Key in the Bahamas. So it's just been a nutso day. But I hope you understand how much work, how much effort goes in to a good successful hunt. All the scouting, preparation, that feeder didn't put itself out there and it doesn't fill itself full of corn. Killing a hog, cleaning them, processing the meat. Now tomorrow in the Bahamas, I'm gonna take all that wild hog meat over there and eat it with the locals. So you know what? It's a win, 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 win. And I sure hope you guys enjoyed it. Take care, please hang out on the channel, check out some of our other videos, let us know what you think. Thumbs up, share it with a friend, and uh, we'll see you guys real soon. We love you. We gone.